Hi friends, welcome to Lax Smiles 31. I am Sai Lakshmi. Hope you are doing well. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create a lollipop chart in Tableau. A lollipop chart is an advanced chart which is not readily available in Tableau. It is a handy variation of a bar chart where the bar is replaced with a line and a circle at the end. Just like bar graphs, lollipop charts are also used to make comparisons between two different items or categories or dimensions. So whatever dimension we pick, we can use it for the comparison between them. They are also used for showing trends over time. Let's see how we can create a lollipop chart. Let me open Tableau public application. I have the Tableau public application open. I have taken sample superstore data. To create a lollipop chart, we need to have a dimension and two measures in place. So to create a lollipop chart, we need to take the same measure twice. First I am taking a dimension named subcategory and placing it in the column shell. And I am taking measure sales and dropping it in the rows. I am taking the sales again and dropping it in the row shelf again. Now we can see two times the sales have been showing up. I mean two axes has been created. Now I am right, right clicking on it and selecting dual axis. Let me select sum of sales and change the mark type to bar and I am taking the sales again and changing the mark to circle which is already available and I am I am increasing the size of the circle a bit and I am selecting the previous sum of sales measure again and I am decreasing the size of the bar little. You can decrease it to a level where you could see and feel it like uh, as a lollipop and I am clicking on the secondary measure sum of sales and I am taking another measure profit and dropping it in the color. We have the color palette over here we can select anything we feel like. I am selecting red green diverging and I am clicking on OK. I am increasing the size of the circle a little bit and I am changing the view to entire view. Now we can see that a lollipop chart has been created and some of the profit has been displaying it with different colors over here. So lollipop chart is used when we can compare the measure against a dimension over a period of time or a particular dimension like subcategory, category, region or anything of that sort. So we can uh, like, like a bar chart or like a line chart we can use it for the comparison of a measure over a period of time or with a against a dimension as well. So this is more like we can compare two or three um, measures at the same time. For example, we have taken the sum of sales over here. At the same time we could be able to see the profit along with the sales. So here accessories has the profit of 41,000. 937 whereas the sales is 167,380 and at a glance we can um, identify that the profit is negative I mean the profit is very less over here for tables subcategory. So likewise we can use this chart for the comparison against different subcategories and one more thing is it is very attractive as it is a very creative chart and it is advanced as well so that viewers can easily get the attention right on the chart and it will be easy for you to 
present your dashboards in a very efficient and attractive manner this is it thank you guys thanks for landing at my channel lax smiles 31 if you like my video or like my content please like share and let me know in the comments what could have been better and if you have any questions for me do let me know in the comment section don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon have a nice day bye bye